Welcome to Good Morning Greenbrier on GHTV. I'm Ada Patterson. And I'm Emma Reynolds. Today is Monday, September 23rd. Before we get to this week's announcements, we have Isabella Carter to give you an inside look at the GHS band. Friday nights in the fall would not be complete without the GHS band. With thrilling halftime performances and the student section dancing along to the drumline, it simply would not be a football game without them. For one of our seniors, the desire to join band came from a special place. And for another, it was about continuing a family legacy. My grandfather knew a guy who played the drums, and he gave me lessons when I said I was interested in them. And it just grew from there, my love for the drums. I decided to join band because my family's very musical. Um, my father went through band all the way through college, and both of my brothers have done the same. Um, so it's something I've always wanted to do, so I did it. One of the things that makes the GHS band shine is our students in leadership positions. Basically like being a captain on a football team, but for the drum line itself, it's, it helps to have order in a section so everyone's not going at each other. So if someone has a question or something, they can come to me with that. And if it's above me, they can go to the band director, but hopefully I can help them out. As a drum major, I'm mostly responsible for um, leading the band on the field. So during halftime, I like to explain it to people who don't understand. I just wave my arms in a tall tower, um, but really it's conducting. I show the band where the beat is and where the patterns so that they can follow and be all on the same page. Our band came out on top during the 2023-2024 competition season and hopes to do it again this year. For like official competitions, there's the region marching competition and then there's state level. So the way that works is if we get ones, which is like the highest score or a certain score at region, we qualify to go to state and that's our goal this year. Although each section has their own unique sound, they all come together to create an unmatched and unforgettable atmosphere. My favorite part about being part of this band has got to be just the people. The community around it is amazing, like a big family. Uh, my favorite part about being in band in general is just the community um, and the culture that we have. We really work hard to facilitate a culture of positive encouragement and um, holding each other accountable, uh, some healthy competition, you know, um, and doing the best we can uh, versus each other but with each other at the same time. Reporting for GHTV, I'm Isabella Carter. FBLA is sponsoring a food drive for the Arkansas Food Bank. Support our local FBLA and food bank by donating non-perishable food items to your Panther Pathways teachers September 16th through October 18th. Educators Rising will be meeting in room 105 in Miss Skinner's classroom on Friday during club meetings. If you are interested in education, there will be sign-ups for officer positions. Be sure to sign up on RTI. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet each Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock in the pavilion for breakfast and a devotional. Greenbrier students are introducing a new Christian-based club called Glorify. The club will meet every Tuesday during both lunches in Miss Haley's room, room 115. Purpose will be meeting in Miss Burgess's room 113 on Thursdays during both lunches. Any student who has turned 16 years old will need to get the meningitis vaccine. The due date on this is September 30th. If you have any questions, please ask our school nurse, Miss Reynolds. If you are interested in joining the GHS robotics team, please sign up for Mr. Talon's Panther Plus sessions held in room 163. Up next, we have Carly with this week's lunches. Thanks, Ada. On Monday, we'll be having barbecue chicken sandwiches. On Chicken Tuesday, we'll be having chicken tenders. On Wednesday, we'll be having chili mac. For the menu on Thursday, seasoned chicken fajitas. And finally, we'll wrap up our week on Friday with chicken bacon ranch flatbreads. Don't forget that you have the option to choose between the salad bar, pizza, a chicken sandwich, and a burger each day. Thanks, Carly. Greenbrier Athletics had an exciting week last week. Here to get ready for this upcoming week is Ty. Thanks, Emma. Tomorrow, tennis will be at Burns Park and volleyball will play against Jacksonville at home. On Thursday, tennis will be at BB and volleyball will play Little Rock Christian at home. On Friday, football will be at Morrillton. Here to get us ready for this week's game is our very own Goon Squad. Thanks, Ty. Football plays at Morrillton on Friday. Kickoffs at 7, theme is Jersey Night. Be there, be loud. And follow on our Instagram at Greenbrier Goons. Go Panthers! Thanks guys, we hope you enjoyed your weekend and are ready for an exciting week. That's it for this week's announcements. Thanks for watching Good Morning Greenbrier on GHTV. Have a fantastic day, GHS. And go Panthers! <laughs>